More than 115,000 train workers might strike this Friday. And that means 7,000 trains could come to a halt along with everything that they carry. And that's just one issue. News 8 Now's Rob Romano explains what the strike could mean for inflation. Good evening, Rob. Good evening, Ken. According to numbers released today, from August 2021 to August 2022, consumer prices rose 8.3%. If railroad workers strike, the high prices we are already paying could rise even higher. If many trains were to stop moving, a report from the Association of American Railroads says the economy could lose an estimated $2 billion a day. Joe Schweiderman is a transportation professor at DePaul University. He says a rail worker's strike would only worsen supply chain issues. It really is going to bottle up the freight system. We have supply chain problems already. The ports are clogged. You throw in a rail uh, a strike and tens of thousands of containers can't get to where they want to go. That affects stores in our everyday lives. The White House has been working since mid-July to help companies avoid a strike. The Associated Press reports that eight tentative agreements have been reached out of 13 that are necessary to keep trains going. BNSF, which has an office in La Crosse, is one of the companies involved. So is Union Pacific. In a statement, Union Pacific says a work stoppage is not certain and adds in part, what we want and continue to push for is a prompt resolution that provides historic wage increases to employees and allows the railroads to restore service as soon as possible. Here in La Crosse, a retiree who didn't want to provide his name says he's concerned about inflation getting worse if the rail strike takes place. Between housing and food and everything, gasoline, it's just gotten out of, out of hand and struggling the way it is. Another man I spoke with off camera feels like companies are to blame for high inflation and the ongoing labor shortage. You're making millions and millions and millions of dollars. You should be able to pay your workers, your knowledgeable workers, a decent living wage. The Associated Press reports that the two biggest unions representing conductors and engineers are calling for changes to attendance policies and improved working conditions in the ongoing talks. In a statement, BNSF says, quote, we must take actions to prepare for the eventuality of a labor strike if the remaining unions cannot come to an agreement. Ken, back to you. Certainly a large development. Thank you so much, Rob. Amtrak has already canceled three long-distance routes in anticipation of a possible rail strike.